And we are live. Back at it again with the After Hours show. And hopefully this one tends to be a little more normal than last week's. You know, last week we we, we dealt with some headaches and we remedied that headache accordingly. So as of right now, we've got Card Deal in the chat. Well, he was in the chat because I know I've seen his comment from earlier we got joe mansman and we got white Sox tom how's everybody doing tonight hello gentlemen thanks for being here tonight be sure to hit that like button for my battle buddy mr fuego here so i did a little more reading on this sports cards collecting slash investing for dummies and i found the resources under the chapter where he's talking about best references to uh, invest in mm -hmm. the first one we spoke very briefly on last week. It was star stock, obviously, mm -hmm. but then the second one, and I'm going to go ahead and present this real quick. Cause I thought this died years ago, but apparently it didn't. It's called dibs. Dibs. <laughs> I remember dibs. And yes. I remember, be, I remember thinking, are you freaking serious? I uh, thought dibs died with the NFT tra uh, uh, ship right along with it. Yeah. Cause I remember Gary V he was preaching dibs religiously. Yeah. Hey, Alan, how you doing? Hey, Alan. But, uh, yeah, apparently those are going to be Jeff's go-to references for your cardboard portfolio. Hmm. Interesting. What's everybody up to tonight in their card collecting um, endeavors? So What's how many everybody... ones you added there, Alan? Yeah. Alan picked up a really nice Zach Geloff card. I did see that. That was Black. nice. Yeah. And then long ball cards picked up or pulled the super fractor of it. Uh -huh. Zach Eloff. That was crazy. Well, only one of the two super fractures I've seen him pull from his heritage uh, case. See, um, and this is what I like to see. A lot of the, and don't take this the wrong way, chat. I'm just speaking as it is. A lot of the smaller, no name brands are actually enjoying the fruits of their work by pulling these, you know, these rare gems. You know, it's not like Layton or uh, 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 Diamond Sports or, you know, we beat everybody else sports. Hey, Larkin, Kenny, Hannah, Nicole, you're new here. Thanks for coming in. Who we got? Hannah, Nicole, what's going Hannah on? Hannah, Nicole. Definitely new. So. Awesome. A couple of things you need to know there, Hannah. One. I am giving you a blue wrench so you can go ahead and advertise your channel. And second of all, since this is your first time here, you got to you gotta buy everybody digitized coffee. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. What is going on, Kenny? Ooh, did I say hi to Lockin yet? I can't remember. If I, hi, Lockin. Hi, Tom. Hi. Long hey, ball cards here. Just talk. Cool, cool. I just dropped Hannah Nicole's YouTube channel on uh, the chat, so feel free to check her out. But uh, now. so let's get a little gr dirty and grimy. Kurt's card care. <laughs> I'm actually glad so clean. PSA finally slapped their pee pee and said, that's <laughs> it. No more freebies for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the after hour show. <laughs> yes. I mean, because if you and I and I, I was reading while you was actually giving us the scoop on it through your article, I was mm -hmm. looking at the comments and I've seen uh, Arnie mentioned some stuff about it. How you know he has gotten away with numerous submissions in the past and everything checked out, but now he his feet are being held to the fire, which rightfully so it's about goddamn time mm -hmm. you know so i mean arnie was saying that he arnie yeah 
Oh, interesting. Um, hey, what's up, Nikki? Nikki, Joe? how's it going? Um, oh, uh, hope you feel better soon, there, Kenny. Oh, chemo shot. Ooh, that's rough, Kenny. Yeah, I hope yeah, you feel yeah. Bit better soon. Um, what are your collecting habits, there, Hannah? She's saying she's only got one video at the moment, but trying to get an idea of what's her collecting habits if she I'm collects. Make sure I go over and sub to her channel right now. I'm already digging the nails there, Hannah. Her first <laughs> video was three months ago, and it looks like she's into basketball because the title is my first video, but at the bottom I see searching for Wemby rookie card. So you oh, must nice. be into basketball. Oh, she's only got eight subscribers. We can we can hook her up. Yeah, we can At hook that Nikki's up. Nikki's cards. It's not Nikki, is it? I don't think it's Nikki. I muted What's the going sound. On, Maddie? Cool, cool. Maddie yeah, Ice in the house. Basically, he he his mouth wrote a check that his ass can't cash. That's what, yeah. Floyd fan, how you doing? Speaking of basketball cards, I'm just getting this ready for the next PSA order. Just gotta show this off. This is not my card, friend of mine's. Another Caitlin Clark masterpiece. Yep, number to fifty. It's a nice. sticker, but what a great card to have right now. Or 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 not, depending upon your view on the situation. Oh, so Nikki oh, been in the collecting game for a minute. I dig it. Well, welcome to to YouTube land. Yeah, exactly. Make sure y'all go check out Hannah Nicole. Yeah. What's your favorite? I use both names. You use both names, huh? I okay, I'm so confused. Names. Yeah. Hannah, who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> so I just gave you a sub. If you like basketball and nails, Hannah Tabby Rips is a great show. Okay. Okay. You've been collecting for four years. That's awesome. Um, what's your favorite? You're or do you just like collecting all sports or that's very cool. Definitely. Oh Jesus. Okay, she's into all sports. Nice. Okay. But nice. uh yeah, so hit us up, chat. What do you guys want to talk <clears throat> talk about breakdown tonight? What do you got? What's cooking? What do you what's the, the what's on your mind? Are... Tell oh, us how Lord. you really feel. Yeah. I assure you, we're not gonna have no 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 fuckery like we did last week. I just, I just, the whole Kurt's card care thing. I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was like secretly like, yeah, when his stuff like got, yeah, it's like finally like, like, I don't know. I know he said on there on other things that he's talking about. Like, I don't care, you know, if you want your dirty old cards or whatever. And I'm just like, dude. Whatever. I mean, here's my Weird. thing. If, if. If I decided to actually experiment with one of his kits, I'm not going to use it on an ultra modern card. Okay. Yeah. If anything, I would try to restore as much as possible without making it obvious a vintage card. Like, you know, You've got some of those 50s and 60s cards where they've got the real dark spots on the white borders. If there was a way that I could just go ahead and bleach those out but still have an aged look to it, you know, that is natural, not artificial, I'm all for it. But then when you... Because I've seen some of his videos and literally he's got the, 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 the 53 Jackie... In in the jacuzzi, just chilling. <laughs> I know, dude. That's <laughs> you know, literally, my heart went to my ass when I seen that damn video. I'm like, no, this dude did not. There is a video I watched of a guy kind of make making fun of this. 
Matt, oh, man, I got, I got to find it. I got to find it. But he like, he like takes this card. He's like, it, it's a mantle, 53 mantle. I think it, uh, I'm, it's a fake one. I, I hope. Um, and he's like washing it in the sink with a sponge. <laughs> and, like yeah. puts it in the, puts it it's in the crazy. microwave and dry it. Yeah, it was awesome. It's it was crazy. Awesome. And, and you yeah. know, it's funny that the extent a lot of these individuals that make the hob that that tend to make the hobby into a business go to just to earn a quick buck or two. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I agree with you there, Hannah. I'm glad that he finally got caught up in this nonsense. And I can only imagine where this puts the Kurtz Card Care brand. For real. Uh, Maddie Ice, uh, that's awesome. Congratulations about your daughter, their gymnastics competition. That's way cool. Awesome. Uh, I think it's okay to clean the fingerprints and stuff off the chrome, but other than that, it's a bad look for the hobby. I agree. There is nothing that a microfiber cloth can't fix to the best of its ability. You know, if you pull a card out of a damn chrome pack and it looked like it's been chewed on it, just let it be. Yeah, Magnus, you're Mag Magini. Uh is the name of the channel that the guy's Welcome, hilarious. Jenny. I appreciate you just popping in like the ninja you are. Jenny Jones in the house. And what did What's Magnus say? Man, Genie, he's been around quite a long time. One of the top collectors on YouTube. Okay. I've heard yeah. of Man Genie. Um, hey, Kenneth, how you doing? Yeah, let's... It, this is only a, uh, a minute and 27 seconds. Uh... Mr. Fuego. It's okay. it's it's worth a it's worth a for a laugh. I don't know if you can see this, but my Mickey mantle has some staining on it. So I'm gonna clean it up. Oh no. Some uh some hot water going here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna soak it a little bit. I'm gonna get a nice lather of soap. <laughs> I'm gonna rub that right out. And and the key is you want to do both sides and you want to have it all wet, not just part of it. So then you rinse that baby off. Oh look, that that stain came right out. Both of them. There was one up here and one down here. Now what you want to do real quick, uh, dry it off, and you store it in the microwave. What the hell? <laughs> 10 seconds. Sometimes it will dry a little quicker. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then you put it in the panini maker. <laughs> oh my god for about two hours and that's how you do it love it good times all right where should i begin i agree tom sorry about that oops long ball watch your profanity <laughs> oh i'm sure that spray and soaking vintage cars is going to show up on the cards later at some point yeah yeah <laughs> looks like he's washing it like a dish yeah good stuff good yeah. good clean good clean fun that is insane <laughs> so here's something that we didn't bring up in the podcast that i found rather uh interesting and i did bring it up to adrian offline but uh, it is what it is. So Thursday, uh, Jeff Wilson has a video that comes out. It's called Cards on the Table. And one of the topics that he was talking about was, uh, and he elaborated on it, the fact that Beckett is going 
out and one reducing their prices and two delivering a quicker turnaround. One thing that he did mention that I did find quite interesting was he stated that B uh Beckett should get rid of the 9.5 grade. What I are your saw, thoughts? Um for me personally, I I'm I'm just filling in time till the chat fills up here. Um I don't care either way because I don't care about Beckett. <laughs> so so I I like those not I don't know. Either that or PSA needs to do 95. Like I really don't care either way. Um Beckett has a long way to go to get back in my opinion to to a level where I, where I feel like they're um legitimate. I just don't even care about them anymore. So yeah, do whatever. Yeah, get rid of your 95. Whatever. Because I mean <sighs> I don't deal with Becky either. Oh, and also they did mention, and this would probably uh, more directly uh, towards the more seasoned collectors in the in, in the group that we deal with. He was actually talking about getting rid of BVG. That's Beck. That's Bravo Victor Golf for Beckett Vintage Grading. Vintage, yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't know what it's like dealing with Beckett in any me because I mean, I have bought a couple of cars that were already slabbed in in Beckett uh, uh, plastic, and I was quick to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sure those individuals that's been collecting for I don't know ever, and they've dealt with Beckett. It would probably hit him in the fields if Beckett decided to actually get rid of BVG, because it's kind of cool to know that you know your vintage stuff has its own grading process or you know its own label. Yeah, but I mean that that's just, that's just me speculating. Yeah. Okay, Floyd fan is saying get rid of BCCG instead. And yeah. Now, Floyd fan, what is BCCG? Because I don't, I, you're, getting you're spelling at me and I don't know what that means. Is a punchline at this point. Hey, What's spicy. up, Spicy Bear? What's up, Theo? Theo, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, no, what does that stand for? Oh, um, Beckett car collecting gurus? Who, who knows? <laughs> quick lane format. Quick lane format. Uh, I now you won't have to look it up there, Floyd fan. What the hell? That's that's that, that's how little I know about Beckett. Yeah, stuff. exactly. Like, I don't care. Like, let's take a looky. Let's take a looky here. I don't even know what the hell it stands for. I don't know. I know that the, I've seen that on cards, but I don't know what it stands for. Maybe it'd be easier if I looked it up on eBay. Okay, so one of the questions on here, it says, is BCCG a BGS? And the answer is they are not the same. BGS is for modern cards. BVG is for vintage. And BCCG is something different still that was supposed to be some type of collector's club as a cheaper option. So basically, it's the Etsy or the Wish.com version of grading. It, lo it looks like it is, too. <laughs> it looks like it is, too. Is that is that a for real thing? No wonder he's saying it's a punchline. I, like, it looks... Oh. Okay. I mean, I've seen a couple of BC, B double C, G, uh, G slabs out there. Yeah, the joke is everything comes back at 10. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sounds great. It sounds like what the, what the uh, card collecting community wants. Yeah, exactly. Especially, you know what? All those flippers and investors, BCCG should be the way to go. Yeah. I'm going to start grading cards myself. Get myself one of those presses. 
tens, tens for yep. everybody. I need to, you know what? I need to go get me a panini press. <laughs> oh man, what's up, Magnus? How you been, dude? Hey, Magnus. How you doing? Magnus was roasting me because I thought Whitey Herzog was a Yankee. Do you well, I mean, it's all, all good. I'm not going to mention that Magnus was the one who spread his 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 uh Kurtz juice on the on the Trout J Rock card that uh he pulled for me, and I got a ten on. <laughs> oh, the uh rainbow foil one. Yeah. Nice. Okay, hey, so Spice said that uh, I've bought some BCCG slabs cards when I first got back into collecting. The labels look like they were printed out of a copy machine at the library. That's what it looked like when I looked it up. I'm like, um, did somebody just make this in their garage? <laughs> they are all Typically, they're pre-made boxes at one. Okay. Wow. Nice. Nice. They came out of a Costco box. Yeah, yeah, you're right there, Magnus. And you got them hot hands. You need to start pulling some more. What did he say? He said no, he was saying that, that card that he pulled for me came out of a Costco oh, box. Oh, 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 oh. Thought he was talking crap. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, touche there, Joe. Oprah works for BCCG. You get a 10. You get a 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, um, yeah, so... Another story that was lingering around YouTube that we didn't mention. Sports Card Radio, apparently they kicked a hornet's nest and oh. their lives have been threatened. Dude, the the Joe Morelli story. Oh my god. I'm the, it's the this is the drama like this is like um soap opera drama. Sport, it really is. Sports card, I love it. I love it. This like this like yeah, young punk kid is what it sounds like like some total doucher is <laughs> like it's like threatening him over his name being on a on their because that kid it, it used to a, actually work for star stock yeah but all he did was like he was just a the person that sent the uh email to them originally and he uh sports car radio made the point like they never even really said anything about him it was just they were just showing the email and it happened to be from him and this kid like went off. We put I it makes me think of, of the whole Will Smith thing where you better take the yeah. my name. Yeah. <laughs> you know, keep my, my wife's wife's name, name out your mouth. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just complete over exaggeration of the situation. And now he's like, Oh, you'll be sued. And blah blah blah. If I'm not mistaken, like, I think sports car radio mentioned at one point that Morelli was the one that actually reached out to them a while back. Offering a partnership with Starstock. Yeah. But now here we are talking about you don't know who you messing with. My family yeah. consists of high powered lawyers, politicians, and so on and so forth. I'm like, dude, don't threaten me with a good time. So, and that was the vibe that I got from uh sports car radio. Yeah. I yeah, Floyd fan. I wouldn't really call it negative. Floyd. I wouldn't either. I feel like I it's would call it realism. I feel like it's like um pointing out stuff that the other got people are just like yeah, ignoring or don't talk to about because it doesn't um match their agenda kind of thing. So I mean, yeah, they're the one to me, when I think of watchdogs of the hobby, sports car radio ranks at the top. Yeah, they're not because they're they will not call boys. you on your BS. Yes. And will not hesitate to take your name and run it through the dirt. I mean, yeah. hell. Zero hesitation. Yes. PPP yeah. loans were null and void when the pandemic was over, but yet they still bring it up every time Jeff Wilson's name is mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What's up, Jay Diesel? How you doing? Jay Diesel, how you doing? Oh, interesting. Tom, you think they're making do you uh, think they're making up a lot of stuff? What would lead you to believe that? I'm just asking. I don't know. Yeah, I'm no, not me, yeah, me too. I, please, knowledge is power. I always want to know. I always feel like they're just pointing out stuff that everybody else wants to um, you know. Not talk about because it's not convenient. Well, 
viewers got drug through the mud by SCR on something he really didn't do. Hannah, see, me too, Hannah. I did, I like, I feel and who, what YouTuber was that, Floyd fan? If, if I, you don't mind saying, if you don't, yeah, if you don't mind saying, because I've probably caught that episode and I may agree with you on your opinion, or I may, I may just sit here and say, yeah, I, I didn't, I missed that one. Okay, the the past is alive. Yeah, I missed that one. I don't know nothing about that one. Okay, well, the past uh, is alive is Jab's family's brother. John, John Jabs. John, yeah. Okay. Never checked out Sports Card Radio yet. The supposed card swap about Jab's dog barking all the time during his breaks. I never heard Jab's dog even barking once. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of John. Well, okay. I know Jabs himself, he's had some family drama going on in the background during his live streams, especially with his now ex-wife. But I don't, I mean, I've seen a couple of John Jabs. I Yeah, I mean, I've never heard anything about that. Did he supposedly swap a card or something like that or? I don't remember him. I don't remember them talking about him on. Or I like how Car Hobby is uh, it. labels uh, SCR. They're high quality trolling, but they do point out a lot of scummy stuff. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. John has always been a good dude. See, I've had some people message me about him that have not felt that way. But I, but I, you know, um, when we first got back into card collecting, like I watched a lot of jabs and I did watch a lot of John uh, passes alive as well. I kind of like all of his toy stuff. Actually, he does a right. lot of stuff on, on vintage toys, but I don't know. I mean, I know John jabs actually has his own little, uh, shop out there too. Yeah. Yeah. I watched Dan, the card man. Yeah. I like Dan, the card man. Like John's no no oh that's right long that's right he used to be, he's been searching for that opening tons of of nineteen ninety tops mm. tons looking for a no name Frank Thomas is well, he still for, doing that if you like if you watch SCR and Dan the Card Man you know I I, I do want to recommend another one and. I'm not being paid by this. I'm not getting no kickback because there's people who believe we get kickbacks left and right. <laughs> Neo's cards and comics. Ooh, I love that channel. I like I like Neo. Okay, I mean, and no, he actually goes out and does a lot of uh, investigative work on Twitter and all these other resources that he uses, and at the same time. I know he has mentioned in numerous videos that he's done that he gets DMs from people asking if he was aware of X going on or this going on or that going on. So he does research on it just to make sure that it's actually a legit thing. And based off of his assessment and his findings, we'll make it onto his channel or not. Y'all are mentioning a lot of good channels. You know, we try, we hit, we like collecting cards. We watch, watch, we like do like collecting videos. cards. And at the same time, we like, we, we, a, a, a lot of the podcast, a lot of the stuff that we, we bring to you, we do use a lot of these other channels as a secondary resource solely for, the relevancy and the legitimacy of what they're providing. You also, know, like if I, if I can add to that real quick, I, I put their videos in our description to help prom promote them as well. Like, to, to, like that a lot of times that's the first time of where we're hearing the story. And so we want to give them credit where credit is due. So, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a, I'm going to choose violence moment right now. And it's very brief. Okay. One channel I highly recommend not to watch. 
-hmm. Grip and rip sports cards. Oh my god. Okay, because ninety point ninety nine point nine percent of his videos have no relevancy, have no substance. They provide no value to the watchers, and a lot of his, a lot of his videos basically just are triggers for clicking. Yeah, um, grip and rip. I like on subbed and like put like like told YouTube don't show me his videos just because I did you know he, he, a lot of the times if you're looking for sports car stuff his stuff pops up first all. All of his thumbnails are very, and I get that, that they got to do some clickbaity stuff, but he he goes Every a little time. bit to the extreme, and his videos, man, are always so like so long, doesn't get to the point. So, so a lot of the stuff I'm like, this is is BS, like legit BS that anybody yeah. can look up real simply. And I I just watched one of his videos a couple of days ago because someone sent me the video saying they wanted my wanted to ask me some questions about it and i was like mm -hmm. i'll watch this just because you're asking me to and no other reason why and right. i'm gonna vomit my mouth the whole time i'm doing it and sure sure enough the video was ridiculous full of bs and done with it i mean i'm not gonna sit here and 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 lie to you all when i do my thumbnails you know the titles of my thumbnails i do try my best to Keep make them kind of suspenseful to a certain degree, you know. But I mean, grip and rip, he takes it to a whole new level. Yeah. Like the hobby is going south from what I see. Here's why. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it really doesn't just does not make sense at all. I want more videos from Magnus. Yes, I do. I want content from Lockin. John John Sports Cards is another douchebag. I don't think I'm familiar with John John. Yeah, I don't know who John John Sports Cards is. Which sounds like it might be a good thing, according to Tom there. And according to Longball, the world is ending with all these channels that we're mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Doc? Glad you can make it. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of shenanigans are going on, and it's, it's okay. I haven't done a hobby, I haven't done a video in a while, but I, I, I like to do really vague titles. That's why I don't get the clicks. I haven't done, um, yeah, uh, yeah, car hobbies, yeah, yeah. To get clicks, like you got a somewhat of a catchy title or at least a catchy looking thumbnail, and then I feel like all the hashtags you got to put in the yeah. description and all that stuff too, man. That's where it's at. I mean, if you really think about it, look at the look at the title for the after hour show. You know, it's an after hour show for baseball car fanatics. We're talking cards. That's really what yeah. it is. There's no what clickbait is, behind it. The 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 after the pocket it's like after a show for real yeah. you know like like i mean it, I, I i don't know <laughs> i think that's something vid iq needs to give a class on um you know what channel i love is uh so we're talking about good channels who's your pulls love his channel love his channel um Matt, we talked about Magnus. Honest, yeah. okay. I'm not gonna bash Hoosier because that's my boy. He's he, he's he's a brother Marine. Mm -hmm. He just needs to beef up the personality. You think so? I think I don't so. Think so I because I'm pretty he... sure when he was in uniform, the inner asshole came out of him every now and then. We need to see that on YouTube. Oh, he's got his kids in the in the background. He can't. He probably can't go off like. Like, well, ridiculous. I'm saying go off within reason. Yeah, 
he's got a but we need we need good clean channels like we that. We do need he's good clean good, channels, but we do need good clean channel. channels that, that have a personality too. Good, his, and again, he, I love Hoosier. That's my boy. Yeah, love him to death. He just Hoosier, if you're watching this, hey man, nothing but love for you, but gotta spice up the personality, man. Tap into that inner jarhead. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I mean. You've got these individuals. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just stage fright. Because I catch myself doing it too. Like yeah. how I talk off camera. You know, I can use the... And I won't do it in videos. But it's like I can use the word fuck 20 times mm -hmm. in a 10-word sentence. Okay? But when I'm in front of the camera, the the my inner stuttering Stanley starts coming out. I do the um, yeah. the uh the buds, the pauses, and 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 I get that. That's natural. But then when you sound like the Visine guy, do you suffer from dry eyes? <laughs> um, I mean, hell. I would like to see a lot of more channels out there with a Jabs personality. You know, they pull they pull that huge card, and somehow they they inadvertently suck on a nice twelve ounce glass of helium. <laughs> It's showing that true passion it really, uh, yeah. for collecting. I, 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 I like it. I dig it. Um, like, exactly, and, Dom. Doug from Don't Talk the Robot, that is the perfect personality. Alongside, oh, yeah, it is. Um, Hannah Nicole, definitely check out VidIQ. Uh, V-I-D-I-Q for helping get helping produce good videos yes and they've got an they app, provide free app very, and stuff too. very good information on how to produce quality videos yeah what to do to if, if you happen to be one of those minion channels which mm -hmm. i tend to consider myself a minion channel how to beef up your views how to beef up your subscribers what viewers are looking for in your thumbnails your titles what tags to so on and so forth i mean there you got vidIQ, then you have another channel, Nick Nimmin. He's another oh, one. And that's a good one. So Ooh. I mean Peds. Peds card collection. Another great channel. Love, yeah. love Peds. Uh release the Kraken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's always got like really good quips. Yeah. The portal of pandemonium. pandemonium. Yeah. <laughs> if you want a passionate card guy, Ethan Sport. Uh, Moving Ethan's right along. cards is more genuine, passionate guy that I've met. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna I say I reserve my opinion on that one for yeah. You. Um, did you see Beast's new video? Gotta act fast to save that A rod. Oh, no, I did not what? see that. No, let's see. Peds is my oh, that's cool, Floyd fan. You met him in person, that's awesome. And I'm sure Ethan's a go uh, uh, a cool kid and all that. I mean, he's young. From what I see, very successful, you know, balancing, running a full-time LCS while still teaching. I mean, and he's... All the really, best. To all there's the really best. nothing negative that I could say about yeah. the kid. However, and this is just my personal opinion, okay? I think the success has probably got to his head a little bit. Just a little. Not much, but... Just enough to make you think this is not the Ethan that I've met way mm -hmm. back when. I just That's had my bad. Opinion. I just had a bad card deal experience with him. Is all which it could have just been a bad day, but it's all good. Oh yes, Ethan did start off by singing Elvis songs. He has a very good singer. Shout out! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. Wait a minute! I'm confused now. Long ball, your child is 20 years old. Dude, you look like you're 25. My 20 year old likes his channel, so that wait, what 10 year old? Oh, miss miss type. I was like, Whoa, <laughs> yeah, tell me more because I gotta know now. <laughs> I was gonna say, Dude, what I'm like, What do you eat? <laughs> what do you take? People are starting to question striker break subs when he went from. Doesn't match up on my channel either. It don't either match right up now. on mine as well. 
yeah, all of a sudden I went from one point six. I was sticking around sixteen hundred subs forever, and overnight I'm over ten thousand now, and I don't have any rhyme or reason for it. Okay, so breaking news, and in my opinion, it's irrelevant. Before we started this after hour show, okay, mm -hmm. I was telling Adrian the last time I checked my sub count was about a week ago. Mm -hmm. But right before we got live, I was 16 shy from 7K. Mm -hmm. I'm 15 over 7K now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what is going on. I don't know what's going on either. It, if we're just getting love from YouTube, we're at, we've, we've put in a couple years now and it's just we're just starting to. Um, I'm looking at the wrong thing. If we I don't know. Card if hobby we, bloomed on YouTube from around 21 to 22. Yeah. Before they put it in the store. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> you know what, though, Maddie? I did happen to bring that up to a couple of very close co workers at the health department, too. And I had some patients do it, too. Hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you a shot in your ass to clear up the syphilis. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> to my channel. Nice. I have 16 subs. Hang in there, Dom. It'll only go up, man. <laughs> that is too funny <laughs> so i'm waiting on a certain video from a one maddie ice cards sent him a nice little uh care package oh yeah yes being with dash one piece people. of the content <laughs> is older than you and i combined that's yeah for real nikki two times that's no joke like bangladesh does love the baseball card junkies <laughs> for real it's for something real. man we were just, i was just looking at it today and i'm like most of my subscribers are in india and and south africa dom why don't you tell us how you really feel christian anyone who still thinks that ethan is genuine he whoa geez there we go there we go I 40 minutes. We made it to 40 minutes in today. <laughs> there you go, there, Dom. Now you got there number you go. 17. And make sure y'all go check out Dom, your buddy Dom. Yeah. Or he'll give it to you straight. As long as you don't mention or send him any cards of a player whose first initial is R, last one is C, and was involved in steroids, you're good. <laughs> What's up, Lou Rock? Lou Rock, how you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Bowman. I don't make I thought you made videos with socks. No, yeah, definitely. Hey, Dom. Need some socks, man. <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know. There's a, there, I don't know what it was, but I see a complete turnaround for the worse since everybody decided to get back into the hobby during the lockdown back in 2020. Oh, I don't think it's worse. I don't think it's worse. I th I think it's bigger now. It's so bigger. There's but a lot more. You're seeing a lot more of the scumbags. I feel like there's always been scumbags in the hobby. There's always people trying to fake, always trying to people get a deal, always, you know. And that's the thing. They they took the word hobby and gave it a fictitious definition behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, making money is not considered a hobby. Making money is not a part of your hobby. Hobby is supposed to be something that takes you away from in my mind, adulting. Yeah. I don't, uh, I only half agree with that. Like, I feel like some people can make money doing their hobby in like a legitimate way. Like mm -hmm. there's a good way to balance it out. Um, hi Lainey. Um, it, but it, for me, it doesn't, I don't work every, every, every time I try to take something I love and turn it into a job, I, ru it, I ruin it for myself. So it really do, I really I try, try hard not to, go that far it's kind of like doing these videos i do my best to try to make it fun for me you know as an addition or 
a, a supplement to my my collecting habits because you know what what better way of enjoying the 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 hobby than showing off a collection or any new additions that you pick up along the way. Uh, I don't need to see a thumbnail that tells me I spent fifty thousand dollars in fifteen minutes at the Burbank Car Show. <laughs> Who gives a shit? It takes my wallet off adulting. You and me both too, there, Floyd fan. Hell, there's been times my wife has been telling me, hey, dumbass, you're spending a little too much money on cardboard. <laughs> Keep in mind, they're just men in tights on a piece of cardboard. Well, no homo, but I like looking at men in tights <laughs> on cardboard. Uh, when I did my taxes this year and showed my husband the, the ins and outs of mm -hmm. money spent on cars and stuff, he was just like, oh, good Lord. Oh, pickups. Did you yeah. get anything new there, Adrian? Yes. Some of it's sitting right here. Well, let's go ahead and... No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Neither is that. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, this card um, I bought for Mr. Enfuego. I had it sent to myself because it's going to get graded. Got this, the blue uh, speckle foil, Walmart special. Julio, it's very nice, very nice. Um, let's see, let's see. Those are not mine. I've got, I'm working through an order, PSA order. I'm gonna show you my PSA order right now. I'm gonna show you that. Let's do that. Yeah, let me show you. Oh, I just dropped a short today. I got it. I'll show you that too. Here's a PSA order. Um, only one of these cards is mine. So the Caitlin that I showed earlier, number to 50, Buddy Joel. So the next few cards are my friend Joel's from Costco. He has he likes Justin Herbert. This one's numbered to 35. Okay. Herbie. There is a Victor Webb and Yama. This is the draft picks one rookie. This is Anthony Richardson. Uh, this one, I thought this was numbered. Maybe not, but red, like a red green parallel. AR 15. Yeah. Uh, here's another nice rookie Herbert um, relic. Is that numbered? And I covered the number up, maybe. I don't know. Cool. Cool looking card. Another Herbert. This is not a rookie, but this is like this green scope that's numbered the bookend, 75 to 75. There you go, eBay 101. This Justin Herbert splash, like mosaic looking. I didn't, this one's numbered as well to 99. Nice, uh, Hannah. Oh, cool. Hey, if you got a if you got a J-Rod auto, hit me up. IPC Shaq, my favorite player. Oh, okay. I gotta look. I think I have some shacks. Um, this is Allen's card. This uh, Bryce Harper. This is numbered to twenty five. Gypsy Queen twenty twenty two. Beautiful. Also the Mike Schmidt. Bryce Harper numbered to ten five of ten. Stadium Club, Chrome co-signers, and this last one I bought from Allen. This last one's going for me is this Tops Chrome Superstar Superstar Sensations Bryce Harper numbered to 15. I mentioned I need a I didn't have a nice Harper in my collection and uh he gave me a really good deal on that. Um I just dropped a short today. I opened up some fat packs. And I pulled this team color variation of Willie Castro. Immediately with the twins, I always automatically think of Julie Farnham. So I might end up going to her. Um, some other stuff I've got sitting up here. I, ha I have videos on it that I haven't dropped yet. So I'm not, don't want to show them off just yet. Um, 
these are all Mr. Fuego. I'm working on PSA orders as we do the, the show right now. Um, I am also going to send in, I've showed you guys these before. And I'll show them off still. I'm going to send in this Hidden Gems. Really excited about this. And then there's a 2024 Hidden Gems now. And I didn't know that they were, I don't know, I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I didn't think there was going to be multiple years of Boba Shett and the Hidden, Hidden Gems thing, but um, you know, what are you going to do? Um, well, Bichette happens. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> uh, sending this Zach Geloff in that Alan gifted me when he sent me the cards to send in for him. And then this is also going in. Look at that. Next submission. Look at Fabio. Uh, yeah. Right next to um, this is Mr. Fuegos he sent to send in. We'll just show this off here. And I mean, come on, tell me which one. Let's see, there we go. Got to go with Jay Don. He I looks mean, like an actual baseball game, player. Game day drip. Bo like, Bichette looks like he's a he's a cover boy for Cosmopolitan. He's all dressed to impress, and they just took a random picture of him at spring training or something. Come on, man. <laughs> um. I don't know why I love this so much, but this is, I think uh, Mike from Ribbon for Rookies pulled this in a break I was in, and this is going for Mr. Fuego, but oh, I know it's just like awesome. a cartoon drawing, but I freaking, I don't know what why I love that so much, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bo-flo. He, he looks like a soccer mom. Soccer mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Joe. All right. You can put me back on the small screen. I think that's all I'm going to show. All right. Oh, so, I'll show one more thing. I'll show one more thing. You got something else? Oh, there you go. Hey, Lee. Grandma hi, Lady. Everybody. Say hi. Miss Lady, oh, how we girl. doing? Oh, my old girl. She's like, are you almost done with your shows yet, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let me show what I got, and we'll go from there. Well, y'all saw that I picked up the uh, 23 Tops Chrome Black uh, Julio, and I showed that in my reveal video. But a couple of recent pickups. This one I actually have going to Adrian because she's got a better eye for it. I am sending, and nobody really talks about it, is... 2024 top series one reverence that's a good looking patch card. auto of julio number six of ten so this is very nice and then another one that i have that i just won before the show even started was a 23 tops tribute of alex rodriguez on card auto yeah it's a near mint mint eight and a uh auto eight, but honestly, don't give a damn. It's not mm. going nowhere, it's staying right here with me. That thing's sick. Um Arnie is frustrated these days with all these people. Maybe us too. I don't know. But um what's going on, Arnie? Tell us how you really feel. He said, I'm listening, not going the uh comment up his previous comment um not going deep into it i have a very hard time with people's comments and zero substance just because you say it doesn't make it factual i now reply reply with prove it when where how all right arnie uh i'm gonna pick your brain for a little bit give an example for us if you don't mind from today's episode from today well arnie's the one that actually Sent me the grip and rip sports cards one. We talked back and okay, forth. Okay, so he's about talking that. about the grip and rip. That's one one thing. I know he's been having. He's just tired of everybody's BS, and that happens with YouTube videos. You got to learn to turn it off. Because uh, and I and there's days I have trouble doing that too. But it's like just a bunch of people just talking, and it's like that on any app or anything you look at. Like, have you ever have y'all you ever been on the next door app? You like your neighborhood stuff going on? Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god, I mean, my husband wonders why I don't want to talk to my neighbors. Like, here's my thing. Here's a quick fix for that, and it works for me. If you know that if you're passionate about something, okay, 
and then you run into another person who is the opposite and speaks negatively about it, nobody or nothing is forcing you to watch it through and through. Just move right along, move right past it. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to try to keep what you consider pure as is. You don't need any outside influences to steer you in the wrong direction or give you the wrong impression or, you know, allow them to kick your hornet's nest and get your feathers ruffled about something that you feel so passionate about. Mm. That's just the way I look at it. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I think, you know, now there's like, there are people that go on to YouTube at whatever, and just, they, they're, they don't know what they're talking about. They're all, they're, they're just commenting or saying anything just to piss you off. Like they don't yeah. know, they might not know anything about it. All they're trying to do, like their, their goal is to just get a reaction. So so the issue is the vast majority of people love misery. They love drama. Mm -hmm. So, hey, comment nasty to try and drag others into, and into it. it. Okay, 100% right there. 100% right there. But you know what, though? You can be the bigger person and just click away. Yeah, we could. Again. But sometimes we choose violence, too. You and I have both. I love that. violence. I'm all about <laughs> it. We're, you know, we're all I human mean, beans, man. We, we, I feel like it's all how you react after the fact. Like, if I... Yeah make a mistake or something like that like i um will say oh i screwed up or i said the wrong thing once i you know realize maybe it takes me a minute to realize like you know it's a pride thing it, but some people will not they're wrong like they make a mistake or or somebody questions them on something that they're doing instead of being like oh wait a minute you know yeah. they, they just like shut it down block like whatever and it's like all right yeah. well whatever so i mean there's been numerous times that we've i mean We've been doing this podcast now for, believe it or not, 18 months. Mm -hmm. And I, I I ran out of fingers and toes from both myself and Adrian on how many mistakes I have made and been called on it. And yes, I noticed them. And I owned them. Like you saw it today. I thought Whitey Herzog was a Yankee. I was called out. No, a Yankee. No, whatever you smoke and put it down. <laughs> yeah it happens um i gotta know who this john john guy is now can somebody link his video or channel in here because i couldn't find it when i looked it up yeah clover tag we've already yeah, hit can link it so i can watch one video and then block him <laughs> october will make two years we've been doing this oh whoa yeah this october yeah Damn. Time flies. It especially does. when you're having fun. Yeah, for reals. Oh, yeah. But she is more on the Pokemon side. She likes to rip cards. Yeah. What? I missed. I must have missed something. Um, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. That's the show. Shows for some of those people. Definitely. Oh, Jerry Springer. Mm -hmm. Jerry, Jerry. I just heard of John John like two days ago. I have a feeling I'm going to regret asking these questions. <laughs> like, uh, I think it's John's sportcaster. Hmm. Wait, John, John, we're not talking about um, John boy. No, that can be. That's not what you guys are talking about. Adrian's about to choose violence on the wrong channel. No, I just <laughs> want to. I just. A couple people are talked about him a couple times, and I'm just curious. John, John Sportcaster. Or is it John Sport Cards? John Sportscaster. Oh, looks like uh, Jenny found them. John Sports Card and Collectibles. Okay. I got to go on YouTube. Or maybe. So maybe. Y'all going to have me looking for this guy, too. Mm -hmm. Damn.
Okay, I see John Little, the singing sportscaster. I'm sure that's not him. And then John Sports Cards and Collectibles. Hmm. Sports Cards. John's Sports Cards and Collectibles. Oh, I'm actually subscribed to him. But I haven't watched. I'll have to watch a video. Jimmy and it. And Ake said he was coming at me. I was blindsided. Hmm. Well, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? It really happens. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, man. Like most I found the bigger channels first, but the best ones are the small ones, more real, better conversations, and friendlier. I agree. Well, the best ones are small. Yeah. Definitely agree. Oh, okay. It is true. Okay, cool. How the heck does everyone have time to watch all these videos? <laughs> don't we? We we don't. I I mix it up a lot. Like I try to rotate a lot. There's only certain video uh, channels that I actually watch religiously. He himself deserved more recognition. Oh my god! Everybody that makes videos, big or little. We're all fucking nobody. We all don't deserve anything more than the other. We're all just, we're yeah. all trying to do the same thing. We're all, for the most part, trying to do our best. And we're nobody. Like, I, nobody is better than anybody else. And when people, as soon as somebody says something like, oh, I deserve, I deserve this, I'm like, click goodbye. I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've noticed, me. I've noticed that a lot of the bigger channels, they're 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 focused on who has the bigger following. Like I know right now, Jabs he's at what hundred fifty thousand, mm -hmm. and he's trying everything he possibly can to remain at the top of the mountain with his subscriber count. You know, mm -hmm. and to be honest, to hit okay, sorry, the subscriber okay. count don't really mean shit to me because okay. Based off of what I see now, I've got seven, according to YouTube, I've got 7,000 plus. However, I'm more appreciative of the fraction that take time out of their busy days to watch whatever videos that I actually put out. Those are the ones that are most meaningful to me. You know you what? Know? You just made me think of two things. For First of all, the jabs thing. Uh -huh. I you gotta give credit where credit's due. The like guy posts like every day, sometimes multiple videos. It's a lot of work, right? It's a lot of work. So YouTube will see that and see how much you put into it. And they, the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. The more consistent you are, the more you're gonna get out of it. Right, but he's um, look, he's taking a competitive mo of he's taking a competitive who approach. Who cares what he does? That's his business. And that's what I mean. You know, a yeah. lot of us don't don't have that mindset. Like at one point, you know, I would you was trailing me in sub count. Now you blew right past me. Mm -hmm. There's no hard feelings. I'm not butthurt about it. If anything, I was one of the first to say, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, Joe Mansman said it right there, too. I, I might have all yeah. these subscribers, but do I still do I have am I having good view counts on videos? You got to make quality videos. And that's my point. I can have 7000 mm -hmm. subs, but if only 100 watch, I'm appreciative of those 100 that take time out to watch my videos. Yeah. But also at the same time, I know that you're also thinking and I'm thinking it, too. What can I do to make my videos better and more watchable? Right. That's yeah. just the I name mean, of the I, game. We all do that. But yeah. But obviously, there's some other thing with the YouTube lo algorithm that we don't have control over. That I, at this moment, I'm I'm in the fortunate stance of it. A couple months ago, you were it's gonna it's gonna rotate like that. Yeah. You're gonna in a couple months here, you might see it completely. You're it doesn't yeah yeah. But if you have fake subs and burner accounts, can't they shut your channel down? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. I do know that they, I, I guess they have some type of mechanism in 
YouTube headquarters where they can determine if you have bought subscribers. You and they will shut that channel down because mm -hmm. that is frowned upon mm -hmm. according to YouTube. So I mean, but any old way, okay. Um, we're already over our time with the after hour show. Uh again, my Labrador is hungry. Just to re <laughs> just a reminder, there is not gonna be a podcast next week. All right. So with that, there's not gonna be an after show, but um we will be still lingering around during the week. You know, if anything comes up, we'll post it in the Discord or whatever the case may be. But you have any last words, uh Adrian? Um I appreciate you guys very much for especially all of you that come in week after week and hang out with us and listen and, and watch and comment. You guys are awesome. And uh, I, I, I thank every, each and every one of you, all the subs, all the support um, wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for this wonderful um, community. And um, I hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend. Go, go watch some baseball or rip some cards and have some fun. There you go. And I concur with what Adrian said. And Magnus, next time you rip open a product and you plan on sending me anything, keep the juice off of it. All right. <laughs> Other than that, it's been fun. It's been real. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.